Hi, I'm Chess, and you're watching Chess's Crazy Creations. To do this first project, this is just a glass lampshade that I got at a garage sale. Actually, I got four of them, super inexpensive. And then this is my permanent marker. And so what I'm gonna do here is just draw two eyes right here like this and color them in like so. And what I've created is an easy ghost. Now I can either put a candle, a battery operated LED or tea light, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna place a solar light in the top and set these outside. Now this project is super easy and you can do something with any bottle or recyclable jar that you want. This one happens to be grenadine syrup and um, it's super, super old. I got it from my mother-in-law and she hasn't used it in years, but I don't feel like we're gonna use it. But with this red color, how easy is that to set somewhere as a potion jar? And all I need to do is leave it like this. And if you don't have, a, obviously, grenadine hanging out, you just add water to a container and food coloring. So you can make a green potion jar, a red potion jar, anything you want. If you use different shapes, maybe you wanna add some eyeballs or bugs in there as well. But how simple is this? Then if you want to, you can leave it like this. You can take your lid and add some fun to it if you want. But you can also look for these Halloween transfers. These happen to be at the dollar store and these are like tattoos. So you just cut them off and then use water and stick them on here. Now with this being a dark color and these, I'm not sure they're really gonna show up. So I don't think this is gonna work for this particular one, but I have added them to water in the past um, with food coloring in it and they work great. And I'll show you an example of that now. So here's another example of a bottle you could use for a potion jar or just even a creepy candle holder. So this is just a grape juice bottle that I've removed the label from. Again, add water, add food coloring. You can add a candle to the top, those potion tattoos to them. But here's just another example of a shape you could use to have some fun with a potions lab. So I just finished adding the tattoo to this bottle. I'm gonna add some food coloring and then I'll place it outside. I added a little green food coloring to the inside. These are just giant googly eyes from Walmart. You can find them at the dollar store too. I'm going to add them to some bushes outside in our yard to create a creepy monster. This project can be used all fall, which I love, and it's such an easy project to store. So I've just got some fabric that I love and a toilet paper roll. And now all I do is take the fabric and pull it up and stuff it in the hole. And you can pull it as tight or as loose as you want, but I'm gonna work my way around this whole piece of fabric or the whole toilet paper roll, I should say. And you can, again, make it as tight, layer it, whatever you wanna do, tuck it in to make it smooth, like so. And so it looks like this. So that's our base. Then I have taken just a stick from outside and I placed that in the middle. That makes my pumpkin. And then what I did here was just cut out a piece of felt and I made a loop out of some pipe cleaner. And to get this curly cue, all you have to do is wrap it around a pencil. And then I place that inside. And now I have this fun, easy pumpkin. And it's also a toilet paper holder if you want. But when you're done with the season, you just take all this apart and it packs away really nicely. I hope this inspires you to make some Halloween decor for your home. I'd love it if you'd subscribe to my YouTube channel and my blog at chasscrazycreations.com. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.